I'd have just come to accept the fact that my body refuses to acknowledge anything under two hours as a nap. If you readers have been here from the beginning or are pretty new and decide to watch my older videos, then you probably notice that I've done nothing but sing the praises of Activision and Bungie's Destiny. I can't say the other funny versions of sing the praises because I do more than likely this video will get demonetized. Then again, this video might get demonetized anyway simply because of the fact I'm, you know, breathing. But I guarantee you readers, my love for Destiny was not a story of love at first sight. It took a lot of convincing on my end in order for me to give it a chance. And the reason why? I hate first person shooters with every fiber of my fucking being. Well then. Now, before you even ask, readers, yes, you are in fact correct. My disdain for first-person shooters is because of Call of Duty's bitch ass. I bought World at War back when that was a thing because I didn't have that many video games to play with my friends. And me, being the innocent individual that I was back in the day, I was all like, You know what? It's been a minute since I played GoldenEye Rogue Agent. I'm gonna get this. I'm absolutely sure nothing's changed about the genre. Then I decide to pop it in and play online modes with my friends, and I immediately became the male vessel of a fake gamer girl. And I say that because over the course of my time playing COD, I was all like, how do I crouch? Where do I go? They're shooting at me! And this was my first time playing multiplayer on an FPS, so I kept dying a lot. And every time I played the game with my friends, I got carried a lot. I never made it to the top three leaderboards playing with my friends, and it rarely happened when I played by myself. I only remember making it to the top three leaderboards one time playing by myself, and that was because I was listening to the Foo Fighters while I was playing the game. So I guess that was my motivation? So eventually it got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'll call y'all motherfuckers. I'm done. So when Destiny came out, of course, I was hesitant. I knew nothing about how Bungie made video games because I never played Halo. I heard all the horror stories about people leaving the company during the production of the game. And I didn't feel like subjecting myself to hearing 10 year old white boys call me the N word and the safety of my own home. My thought process was, and to a certain extent still is, if I want to expose myself to racism, I'll just go outside. But it was the words of a good friend of mine that made me want to give Destiny a shot. Uh, unintentional pun is unintentional. You just have to find the shooter that speaks to you. So I picked up the OG Destiny during week one with said friend and played it while he watched and it felt right. Sure, there are moments where my anxiety skyrocketed because I underestimated the AI, but the leveling system spoke to me, the lore spoke to me, my prior knowledge of FPS is just reactivated like fucking muscle memory, and killing bosses, especially during the vanilla game, just gave me the greatest pump ever. Albeit I wasn't working out at the time, so I didn't necessarily know what a pump was, but you, 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 you understand what I'm talking about. I found an FPS that spoke to me, and it just so happened to be Destiny. Sure, I had some frustrations with the game, and to a certain extent I still do, but I still have fun playing. As a matter of fact, me giving Destiny a chance caused me to give other genre games that I would never have thought I would play a chance. Overwatch was definitely one of those games. Before I found out that my gorilla boyfriend was in it. So will I be going into Destiny 2 with the same amount of anticipation? Y yes, y yes, yes, yes I will. Especially now that I've been hyped for the game ever since the beginning, and I don't have to re-pop my FPS cheer. And I want to bring your readers with me. How? Well, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know that I created a Destiny 2 clan that the majority of you helped me name. Called Reader's Digest. Because I'm corny as shit. If you're looking for a clan to play with and you like me enough to give me a shot, then by all means, welcome aboard. Link is in the description below. Oh, and I started a gaming channel two weeks ago. What?
The channel's called Rita's Gaming because what else would it be called? There you'll be able to watch me and my friends play Destiny 2, Injustice 2, Tekken 7, Overwatch, and whatever other games that pique my interest. Right now my upload schedule is twice a day on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at noon and 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But trust me, that, that schedule is not set in stone. September is going to be the month in which I see if I can actually pull this shit off. And yes, readers, there'll be links to the channel during the end card of this video where there'll be Destiny 1 and 2 content waiting for you. So with that, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comments section below a video game or any other form of media that you were apprehensive at trying at first, but you were glad that you did afterwards. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. And make sure you subscribe to Rita's Gaming for new videos every week. But until then, this is Rita's 101. Class dismissed.